am a sucker for USB type C products and I ran across a logic here. We're talking to Pratik Kumar and he's going to tell us about their products. So we have a great lineup for 2019 across and everything here is pretty much USB C and Thunderbolt 3. And uh, let's start with something like this. Uh, if you have seen, most of the new Ultrabooks are just USB-C enabled and pretty much any user who's, who has one of those computers is using an adapter or a dongle of some sort and carrying it around, right? Then you're also carrying a power bank. So what we have done is we have combined the two products together and also put a wireless charging pad on the top. Oh, no way. Yes, exactly. So this is the about the size of a, maybe a little smaller than a smartphone, a little thicker. Pretty much. I see uh, HDMI, it's got an SD card slot, a couple of USB-A, and it's got a USB Type-C. So um, that's a power bank? It is a 5,000 milliamp power, sorry, MAH power bank. And it also has a wireless charging surface on the top. So the idea is to remove any clutter. So what you need to be sort of, all you need to do is, uh, sorry. Okay. He's turning it on here and he's setting his iPhone on top of it. So, so it just shows that the battery enables the wireless charging on the top. Just started charging right there. Oh, sorry. It's there charging on the top. Very cool. Uh, so the and idea is someone like you, you know, who works, who like who's always on the go, typing away on your laptop. You connect this, you could be charging your photographs, videos into your memory card onto your computer. You could be connected a mouse or if you are at your desk, maybe a display. And you want to charge your phone, right? We want to minimize clutter. We don't want you to connect another cable. All you do is just keep your phone and you're good to go. Just set it right down. That is a beautiful design. That is really pretty. Exactly. So uh, does the, I noticed USB-C on this side. Has that got power delivery? Yes, exactly. So this, sorry, this model does up to 60 watts of power delivery as well. So wow, you could be well, charging fantastic. the computer and the power bank at the same time. And your phone sitting on top of exactly, it. Exactly, and the phone sitting on top of it. That is a really slick design. Uh, so how much does this cost? Uh, this will auto pay for around $119 at the, in US. It's not bad at all. Yeah, that's... Uh, when, when will that be available? Uh, it would be available from second week of March. Oh, not bad at all. Yes. That's pretty specific. You must be serious about the date. Yeah, no, we are pretty serious about this product. We have been working on it for a long time. It has been extremely difficult, in fact, to put all the three together in such a small form factor. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people could do it big and bulky, but we like we were really hell bent on making it small and portable. So like because we are like you, we travel a lot, and we wanted something that we could use ourselves. We could just chuck one thing in the bag, and that's all we wanted to take with us. And it's got nice little blue lights on the exactly. end. You got to have the little blue lights to yeah, show exactly. you the power show you level, how right? It's going. Fantastic. And, and is there a name for that? Uh, this is called the Dock Wave. The Ultra Dock Wave, uh, not just the Dock Wave. It is, it is the, the Ultra, ultra dock, dock Wave. In fact, it's a part of our Ultra range of products. Okay. So it follows the same sort of design style. Uh, I'll take you. So these are your standard sort of Ultra, like we call them Ultra Docks. So this is the Dock Plus. This is the Dock Uni. Okay. So this is uh, this is our Gen 2 products. So this uses the latest power delivery specification 3.0 can support up to 100 watts of power now. Hot dogs. I've uh, got a MacBook Pro, so 15, uh, 15 inch, so I love Okay, that. so yeah, exactly. So 100 watts of power now. It's got an intelligent LED that shows that when the dock is ready to use. It's got a lot of shielding now inside to, because the first gen USB-C products were known to affect the Wi-Fi signal, the Bluetooth signal. It, it has got an extremely high amount of shielding, and it's still that packed into such a small form factor. These are really, really beautiful devices. Yeah, we have done like intense EMI testing on them to make sure that there is no interference at all now. He's talking about the EMI testing, and I'm saying, yeah, but it's pretty, too. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, this is the part of the ultra range of products. We have done a lot of work, say, something like this, specially designed, uh, specially designed for the MacBook Pros. And you'd see that we have used a lot of soft touch material if you touch it. Oh yeah, it's, so the it's idea touchable was, you know, too. A lot of people just chuck them in the back with the MacBooks, right? And if this was all aluminum, it will scratch against your MacBook. Ah, so right, we right, were, right. Like, thinking, oh, it's scratching my MacBook. What do we do? We're like, okay, let's put some extra soft touch material and keep it sleek and nice. It matches the new MacBook Air's profile. Oh, very nice. Look at the nice little wedge design there, Steve. So this is just a tiny little dock that's got, uh, I yeah. guess I'd call it a hub, but it's got power delivery, it's so it really delivery. is a dock, it's a dock. Right? Exactly. So, so it's, it's got, got two USB-C yeah, uh, so. port uh, connectors on it, and then you've got two coming out. Okay, and then you've got exactly. two USB-A and an SD card and a micro SD. Pretty much. So all that into that small I phone I want factor. all of this. <laughs> You're most Seriously, <laughs> Pratik, that is really cool. Uh, you'll love this as well. So this can charge four devices at once, two wireless charging surfaces on top, one USB-A, one USB-C. So this is meant for like a living room environment. You could be, so just imagine this in your living room. You could be charging your phones, your kids' iPads, your Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. 
just one device that does it all. You, so you, th this is uh, maybe the size of a one and a half iPhones. Pretty much. It's thin. It's got it's got kind of a gray, almost like so, a stitch surface. Yeah, on exactly. It. So this is a fabric. So we're trying to blend in as much. We try to make it as living room friendly as possible, so that you could, yeah, you yeah, could. Yeah, that is really and, pretty. And the plans are to bring in more different colors and different surface finishes later in the future this year. So two Qi chargers and the uh, USB. One that USB C. That's also power delivery, 18 watts. Oh, it is. Wow. Yeah, and this is 12 watts USB A. These are beautiful products. So where would people go to find out more about these? Uh, so you can obviously log on to our website. It's alogic.co. Uh, they would be uh, available through different retailers in U.S. Uh, after March or middle of March. And they're already available across the world in different countries, in Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong, Singapore. So this is an Australian company. So, yeah, we have a pretty strong presence in APAC. And, yeah, we have these all existing. friend in Australia right now. Ron, go buy me a couple of these things while you're there. <laughs> yeah, please I do. can't wait till March. <laughs> okay, so alogic.co. Alogic.co. Very good. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you.